Civil Society Group Education Rights Campaign, ERC for short, has kicked against the ongoing crisis in the Lagos State University, Lasso, following a protest by students of the institution in January over a hike in tuition fees. So all these people, in fact, in, the in collaboration with the Student Union Government of Lasso, the group held this media briefing to highlight some of the critical issues that led to the indefinite shutdown of the institution. The protest, which started at about 11 a.m. on the 22nd of January 2014, was meant to be a very peaceful one. The protest staged by students who have been deprived the opportunity to register for examinations after due payment has been made, gathered at the Senate building to make pleas to the university management to open the examination portal so they can register and sit for their exams. But unfortunately, the plight of these 1,292 students of the university fell on the deaf ears as university management considered them insignificant. This led to the protest of January 22, 2014. Taiwo Soweto used the opportunity to introduce Save Lasso, a new movement he says will be charting the cost to resolve the crisis. He also outlined some of the resolutions of the group and threatened the protests if their demands were not met. Against the backdrop of the recent protests witnessed at the Lagos State University and the injustice done to 1,292 students of the university coupled with the obnoxious policies of the state government and management of the university, under funding of the university, in conducive learning environment and other vices that have hampered the university and the students from acquiring quality education. There arose the feeling that something must be done to salvage Lasso. It is this feeling that has brought into life a new movement called Hashtag Save Lasso, which is a movement comprising Lasso Student Union, the Education Rights Campaign, the National Union of Lagos State Student Nulas, radical and progressive groups in Lasso, as well as members of the public who want to save Lasso from the death pill of fee hike and commercialization. This movement has saddled itself with the sole responsibility of campaigning for the positioning of Lasso for good and restoring it back to the dreams of its founding fathers. We have decided in the Safe Lasso movement to peacefully march to the Lagos State House of Assembly on the Tuesday, 18th February 2014, to submit a petition bearing the following demands. One, the immediate reopening of Lasso, an opening of registration portal for students to write examinations. Two, reversal of the fee hike. Three, adequate, adequate funding of the university. Four, democratic management of the university. Five, no reparation to be paid by any student. We believe that students pay damages and students pay caution fee every time in the university. The caution fee should be gathered together. Whatever, whatever unfortunate damages occurred on 23rd of January, the money should be used to fix that. We are going to fight any attempt to impose damages or reparation on any student. Six, and this is our last demand, we say no to victimization in any form of any student. The truth is that the Lagos State government is all out to commercialize tertiary education out of the reach of children of the poor. And they've told us on several, on several occasions that tertiary education cannot be free. Yes, we agree. It cannot be free, but make it affordable for the children of the poor, so that the children of the market woman, the children of Okada riders, the children of civil servants, the children of artisans, the children of Lagos State staff who earn barely 18,000 naira per month can also have access to tertiary education. That is all that we are saying. Make it affordable for all, so that admission into the university will be on the basis of merit and not on the basis of ability to pay. Imagine a student spending two years in a level, all in the name of um, an administration that is unjust, an administration that lacks the capability to govern, and with the interest, the selfish interest at stake. Please, we call on the State House of Assembly because we, we got information that today they will be having an emergency sitting even though we, also, we were also told that they are on recess. We want them to be proactive, to work on 
our resolution and the resolution of the committee should be reversed most especially the reopening of our school the downward review of the school fees the last crisis is taking its toll on students of the institution here is what some of them had to say when TV360 spoke with them. It has affected me psychologically in a lot of ways. Aside from, aside, aside from psychologically, aside from psychologically, it has affected me emotionally. And it has almost killed my personality out there. Because one crisis after the other, by the time I step out of my house, People come to me and they tell me, ah, Master Craft, you guys have started in your school again. You guys are taught. You guys are taught. And that alone has killed me emotionally and morally. It has really, really affected me financially, physically, emotionally, even spiritually. Because to some extent, the money is not easy. So my department is paying 237750 I mean 236750 to be precise. Then to get that money is not easy. The effect of the crisis obviously not going down well for these students. Their only wish is that the management of the institution revises the fees to accommodate the poor ones among them whom they say are in the majority. Chidimachi Kizi, TV 360, Lagos.